Hi, this is JB from Nodal Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another deck testing video, and this time I am testing the brand new Ironheart Leadership Prebuild deck, and I decided to play against Claw on standard difficulty. I added the new encounter set uh, in addition to the Masters of Evil modular set to the encounter deck, so we might see how that encounter set also functions. But without further delay, let's get started. So we are nearly ready to begin. I'll just go over briefly how Ironheart functions. So uh, we have three different hero cards for Ironheart and they are version 1, 2 and 3. And we are leveling up to uh, version 3 uh, and uh, we are getting stronger for each level up with Iron Heart. So at first it will be a bit of a struggle to keep up with the encounter deck and the villain, but uh, I think as we hit the version 3 we should be uh, cruising through the scenario then, but we'll see how this goes. So as the last thing for the setup we have to uh, so, so the encounter deck for defense network side scheme and put that into play. So we'll just quickly look for that. Of course I could have done this <laughs> beforehand but it is what it is. And uh, it's been a while, I've, I haven't been playing Claw for a while so can't remember everything. Then uh, we reveal this. So just quickly shuffle, then we discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until we hit a minion and we put that minion into play engage with us. So let's see, well we got an armored card right from the top of the deck. Well that's better than getting a uh, Masters of Evil enemy I suppose. So uh, we'll draw our opening hand of 6 cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we'll see, uh, we got Photon Blasters, which we want to get into play fast. And we, oh yeah, the, let's not forget the tough on the guard. So I think I'm uh, starting with this hand, but we'll see if we can uh, use the Child Prodigy ability or action on uh, Riri Williams immediately. Uh, I think I also want to get Ingenuity into play. So that doesn't leave us a lot to deal with the armored car or play these. But we'll build, we're building up, so I think we skip uh, the Child Prodigy this time. Uh, let's see, yeah. So we actually, hmm. We can play the Ingenuity and use that to generate the. Uh, uh, mental resource to do this, so I'll just discard Go All Out and Patriot for uh, playing Ingenuity. I'll spend it to do this, so I'll get one progress counter onto Ironheart. Then I'll just flip. I'll play the Photon Blasters. I'll use the Photon Blasters to remove the uh, tough from the Armored Guard and uh, I think we'll just attack the armored guard. We can't attack a claw, and at this point, uh, we don't have enough to remove the defense network, so we'll do that later. That is all we can do on the first round. We're ready up. And we only have a hand size of 4 at the version 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4. This is uh, really important to get this into play fast, so we have some extra resources and damage dealing at the start. So uh, we get Cloud 9. Tony Stark AI, uh, R&D facility, and Snow Guard. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Claw attacks. I'll, I won't defend, so I'll take uh, one damage, and we'll give the villain a tough status card. Then the armored guard hits us, so we'll take another one damage. So we're down to eight. Actually, I forgot to add the plus two health from the... A photon blaster, so I'll just add it there now. So we're still at 10 health. 
and then we get that encounter card. It is sap, so take indirect damage equal to the total number of uh, energy resources in your hand. If your identity was dealt one or fewer damage this way, this gun card gains surge. So we have one energy, so we take one indirect damage, and this uh, surges, and we get sonic boom. Either spend. Uh, uh, all three resource types or exhaust is character, so I'll exhaust because we can deal with the armored guard with the photon blasters next round. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, and uh, this round uh, we will just use the photon blasters to deal one damage, so the photon blasters deal one uh, damage per our version, so at version 1 it's da 1 damage but it is not enough to defeat the armored guard we get rid of that then uh, we have some choices I think we uh, want to play Tony Stark AI so I'm using Ingenuity and uh, Red uh, R&D facility to play Tony Stark AI we are using the Tony Stark AI to draw two cards we'll take one of them and I'll uh, then discard one card out of those. Uh, then uh, uh, we don't have anything to play, but I think we'll discard Snow Guard. Keep these two in hand, ready up, draw back up to four. So we get new and improved and a power of leadership. Then uh, we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme, claw uh, attacks, I won't defend this time, so we'll deal one damage to each hero, take one damage, then uh, we take two damage, down to six, and that is the attack, and we get an encounter card, it is minor setback, so we remove one progress counter from our identity, then discard this card, and that is it. So we are slowed down in our build up, but I think that's okay at this point. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. I think we start the turn by doing the Tony Stark AI action. We'll just grab one and discard the other morale boost. Uh, then uh, we will want to do something, so let's see, I think we don't want to new, play new and improved yet. Um, could play Cloud9. I think for fir first action we'll just push ahead so we get to uh, exhaust our identity. I'll pay it with uh, our leadership and morale boots. And ingenuity. Uh, and we'll get to remove threat from a scheme. Just double checking. Yeah, it, it's any scheme, so we get rid of the defense network this round. We'll uh, remove the tough with the photon blasters. And that is our turn. We'll discard this. We keep Cloud9. We ready up. Draw back up to 4. We get R&D facility, photon beam, repulsion jets, and Cloud9. We go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the scheme. Um, claw attacks. I think I will defend this turn. So, uh, three boost icons, so we have a defense of three, so we don't take any damage. Then we get an encounter card. It is advanced, so uh, two plus one is three, which is unfortunately not to advance this. So we discard cards from the top of the deck until we hit a minion. And we get a weapons runner that comes into play. And then... We have to keep the threat in, at bay at, from now on. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. 
first off we'll do the Stony Stark AI. So two cards, discard one. I uh, will discard the RMT facility. Then we will uh, photon blast the weapons, ru uh, weapons runner. I'll use uh, ingenuity and uh, actually let's think about it for a second. I think I'll play uh, balls and jets first. You'll get two extra hit points. I'll use it well there's nothing to remove but um, then we'll photon beam this enemy. We get two counters here because that defeated an enemy. And that is it and we'll deal one damage to claw with the photon blasters. Hey, ready up, we draw back up four. Uh, we get Agent 13, fly over, push ahead, and Vivian. We'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme. Claw attacks, I will defend. And uh, each, it exhausts each ally of your control and one, so we don't take any damage. We get an encounter card, assault, so claw attacks again, and uh, discard one card at random from your hand, but we don't take any damage. So let's see what we discard. We didn't have that many good cards in hand, so it is, isn't a big deal. And we lose flyover, which is useless at this point. Well, uh, yeah, we could have uh, removed the threat and get progress but it is what it is so that is that round let's go to the next round we don't have that much to play uh, we can't play the push ahead because we can't exhaust so I think uh, we'll just play Vivian now uh, let's first see what uh, Tony Stark AI brings us so a stroke of genius uh, we'll discard this because we can't play a second one mm. we have enough for ace and agent 13 or vivian i'll actually play uh, vivian with those so we draw a card with that Morale boost. Not getting any good <laughs> cards, but it is what it is. So we'll deal one damage here. Remove the threat. We'll actually go to Alter Ego and discard our hand. Actually, uh, we'll. We don't have a, a right resource for this, so. That is it, so we're ready up. Oh yeah, Vivian could have attacked. Call still attack with Vivian. And uh, there's nothing to use Vivian's ability, so don't have to uh, bother with that. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six cards when we get, get ready and draw our hand. Get Helicarrier, Stroke of Genius, Brawn, Ingenuity, go all out and new and improved. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Claw schemes for two plus two, is, so we are at five. And uh, encounter card is advanced. Two plus two is so we lose the game. So, well. Just to make this a bit more entertaining, we lost because of the damn advance, so we rewind. I won't go to Alter Ego, so let's just shuffle this back. So we lost this game, but I want to play it a bit further to demonstrate how the leveling up and stuff like that work. So 
just quickly reshuffle. So uh, we were mm, we were at one threat, and we'll stay in hero mode. So we draw back up to one, two, three, four. We get these cards. Then uh, claw attacks. I will defend. Uh, we get four, so we take one damage. Encounter card is Master Mayhem. So let's see. So do we have any good Masters of Evil? Well, we get Melter. That is it. So uh, after after the loss and rewind, uh, we can still play a bit further, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we need to defeat Melter somehow. Uh, let's see, we want to play Brawn, so I'm using all of my hands and uh, ingenuity to play Brawn. We'll deal one damage to Brawn, Vivian and Brawn will defeat the Melter. And that is our turn, we uh, remove the threat also. So we're ready up. We draw back up to four, one, two, three, four. We add, go to the villain phase, we add one threat. Uh, claw attacks, I will defend. And uh, hmm, we don't take any damage, because it's two. And counter card is uh, claw attacks you if this attack is damage place one threat on the next team. So we'll just take it. So zero, so five. <laughs> we are nearly dead. And we place one threat on the main scheme. So that is that round. Our hand is, by the way, like this. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So this demonstrative. Uh, Testing is not going well, even with the rewind, we are nearly dead. Let's see what uh, AI brings us. Fly over. Actually, we'll take that. I'll play. Well, we'll just blast one damage here. I will play fly over. We remove all the threat. We'll get two uh, encounters here. We will attack with Brawn, so now we have an extra resource from Brawn, which we'll use to play Photon Beam. Actually, do we have a way to deal one damage? No. Well, we'll get one counter here. Let's see if we'll use it like so. So, uh, we deal 4 damage, close at 1. Now we have to go to Alter Ego. If we lose now, then that is game. Uh, we ready up. Uh, well, before that, I'll spend this resource to generate one threat with the uh, uh, Child Prodigy ability. We draw back up to 6 and we get an extra encounter card. This game is going pretty bad, and uh, I, I did a test game to get bearing of how this deck functions. So, Claw was an easy beat with the test game, but of course, when the camera is rolling, everything goes uh, out of the window. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, stroke of Genius, push ahead, sector scan, Ronnie Williams, power of leadership, and R. The facility. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, claw scheme for two plus. Uh, uh, let's see. We have those. Uh, this comes into play. So we add two. 
So this schemes for two two, so we're at five. Okay, so we of course we are getting something that will lose us a game. Well weapons run a searches. Gang up searches. Shadow of the past. Well <laughs> this is this is going out of hand quickly. Well, at least we got to see the new encounter set and the uh, Nemesis side scheme and Nemesis, Nemesis minion in play, but this is going pretty poorly. Okay, and of course Claw also gets the Sonic Converter, which is not good. But that is that round, let's go to the next round. First off, uh, we will use the AI to get the card. I think we'll need to go all out. And uh, actually we don't. We'll take the photon beam. And uh, yeah. I think we'll just flip to hero. Well, we'll heal first. We're at five. Then I'll use this to play Ronnie Williams. Ronnie will heal us for two. Then we'll flip. Then we will uh, photon beam. Well, yeah. This gets tough. Which we will remove. We will, uh, we will uh, spend D6 to advance to Ironheart level 2 for version 2. So uh, remove 6 progress counters from Ironheart, ready her and swap her with version 2 Ironheart. So we ready and we upgrade. Then I will uh, hit this enemy for 3 damage. Hit Brawn. Then I'll have to remove threat, 2 threats from here. I will Photon Beam Lucia Bardas and I'll use Stroke of Genius and R&D Facility for that. It draws us a card. So we deal 4 damage, get 2 progress counters here. And uh, what can we do with the rest of this? So... So, Zack uh, has plus 1 attack and plus... Plus X attack and plus X hit points, where X is equal to the total number of uh, resource uh, energy resource cards, the engage player controls, I control zero, so we only need one more damage there. So I think we will just defeat this guy. Or do we want to do that? I think we have to. We can't really play anything. That guy will hit too much, so this guy is defeated. And uh, we will just use morale boost to play sector scan so we can check what is coming. So this gives one boost card. We'll keep these in hand and ready up. Draw back up to five. So we, our hand size is now five. We have uh, R&D facility, Cloud9, Photon Beam, Power of Leadership and Push Ahead. We'll go to the villain phase and uh, let's see. So while uh, Lucia won Bardas is not in play, this card gains an acceleration icon. So we add two threat to the main scheme. We are one away from getting defeated for attacks. I can't afford to defend. 
will take two, three damage. And we get stunned. So three and we'll just add one because this weapon runner also hits us and we get an encounter card. It is assault. Well, we have to defend now. And it is one damage. And now we can't play that card, so that this is getting really out of hand. Well, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So let's see if we can get something that will help us. Um, Drop from too many cards, unfortunately. Moral boost and snow guard. I'll keep snow guard. And I will play snow guard because I need to remove some threats so we don't lose. And I will decide to put two cards here. To play, I'll use this and. Uh, this and this and this. So we thwart for three. We'll defeat the weapons runner. Uh, so we are at four. Then we'll remove two to get rid of this. And. Uh, that is it. Be ready up. Draw back up to six. I'll keep this hand. Draw back up to five. New and improved. Patriot. Play, uh, fly over. Push ahead. Hold on beam. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the scheme. Claw attacks. Uh, let's ready up. Uh, this point I think I'll defend. So deal this card to yourself. Face down and counter card. So this comes as an encounter card. We get an acceleration token. Don't take any damage, luckily. Quick shuffle to the encounter deck and we get an encounter card. So uh, that's the the minion with the most traits. If you cannot this can card scan search, so we can search that and we'll get this um, scheme again. So it has an acceleration token. And we get feedback loop. So when we reveal each player must place threat here equal to the total number of energy resources in their hand and on card take control. Well uh, with this one, two, three, so this gains five threats. And that is the villain phase, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we start by uh, thwarting for three, we do it here. Then we'll rep uh, fusion jets that away. Then we will. We'll have to fly over. Actually, I'm playing the new and improved. Push ahead, Patriot. Photon beam. So, new and improved. Uh, we will get a tough. We will ready because we're version 2. Then uh, we will use the Tony Stark AI to draw a card. Any card is good. We'll grab this. We will use uh, this to. We want to use that now. Mm. Fortunately, we are one uh, resource short. But we can still thwart for two, so we'll do that. So we remove two from here. And uh, that is it. Well, we'll advance to. Just have to check. Yeah, we'll get the Immortal Claw, which 
This is not nice. We'll wait. Wait for a moment. We keep these in hand and draw ready up. Draw back up to five. Bottom beam, push ahead, and a stroke of genius. So that is good. We go to the villain phase. Uh, we had two threat to the next team. Claw attacks, I won't defend. We get a weapons runner. So the top goes, the weapons runner deals us one damage. Then uh, we get an encounter card. Political retribution, if Lucia Barber does is in place, she schemes, if ruled by force is in play, place three threat on it. Well, okay. And uh, that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So, um, I think we will attack to remove the stun. We will ward for three here. We will uh, use photon beam. To defeat this guy, we get two counters here, and we draw a card. We use Tony Stark's AI and get. We'll take the power. Well, new and improved. Doesn't matter. Keep that for next round. Then we will fly over. Remove three threat from a scheme and add two because we removed the last threat and we will level up to get Iron Heart level three for version three. We have these cards in hand and also uh, we get a tough status card. Then mm, we will remove three threat from here. We will deal. We will hit claw to face two. And uh, deal the three da damage there. So claw is at 15. We have a slight chance to win, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, we keep the rest in hand. We'll actually discard the push back. So we draw back up to five. So we have a hand size of six now. We get ingenuity, fly over, go all out, agent 13, helicarrier, and new and improved. Go to the villain phase. Uh, we add two threat here. Claw attacks, I won't defend. Oh yeah, uh, before we do anything else, we have to look for the Immortal Claw. Always forget about that. So we'll actually add one more threat. Threat 3 on the main scheme. This has 3. And uh, Claw has uh, 10 more health, so we'll add that. Put it here because it's from this. So, Claw attacks. We'll take no damage. Room, move the top. Encounter card is uh, Lucius Bombardos. And at the end of the villain phase, we add the top on her. So, I think we try to ignore that. We need to get this removed, and we can do it with the. Uh, Propulsion, jets, and etc. But we'll see. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So, first thing we do is use Propulsion Jets to remove this. Claw loses 10 health. Then we will deal 3 damage. Then we will 
uh, go all out. Mm. How do I want to do this? I have to use a... Uh... Damn. <laughs> I don't have a energy resource. So we can't go all out. So that sucks. Um, so first off, let's draw two cards. Uh, well, this didn't help uh, with the Tony Stark AI. I was hoping for a wild icon or a energy icon. Then I think I will attack for two damage. I will play new and improved using this, one of these, and the helicarrier. I get to do everything of these, so we get a tough. We also uh, get to search our deck for iron hard core and add it to our hand. Well, we didn't get an iron hard card. That sucks. Then we also get to ready. So I think I will uh, do this like so. So we'll remove three threads from here. No. Uh, yeah. I think we have to do it. And I will fly over using Ingenuity and Agent 13. Remove the last thread from here. We get two counters here, and I'll use it once to deal two damage to Claw. Still need to deal 8, so we get to go all out next round. And, uh, well, we can't ready. Sucks, so let's back up. We won't, we'll remove the uh, threat from here, so there is still one here, and this is in play. We'll have to risk it and go to Outer Ego. Or actually, we can do. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Let's just keep it like it was. And hope we don't die. So we'll discard this because we can't play it because we have to defend against Lucia. Well, she is only. Yeah, she has plus one attack and scheme because of the tough, so. Yeah, we'll just ready, draw back up to six, so get those, get the next rank of the card. Mm, let's see. Okay, so we still get three more cards. Uh, R&D Facility, Stroke of Genius, Morale Boost, R&D Facility, Falcon, and Push Ahead. Okay, well, not a good hand. We'll go to the Villain phase, so we add two threats to the main scheme. Claw attacks, I won't defend. We take one damage. And then we have to defend against this. So we don't take any damage, then we get a card. card. Or two encounter cards. Court of Guard. I'll remove Ronnie Williams and Zap. Take indirect damage equal to the total number of. Okay, so this kills us. Oh, damn. Well, uh, in play. In your hand. Yeah, so we have three. So we take three indirect damage and die to the treachery. So. Even with the rewind, we ended up losing, but we were. Pretty close of uh, defeating Claw, but 
Uh, at least I got to demonstrate how the upgrading of the armor functions with Iron Heart. I think it's a really fun ability, and uh, I feel like maybe Iron Heart is more like a multiplayer hero and not a true solo hero. But let's see if we wouldn't have died that treachery. Uh, could have could we have uh, won on next round? So uh, if we went to the next round, we could deal three damage. This. We could play uh, first, see what we get with this. Uh, well, nothing useful. Then we play more. Well, we'll play Falcon. I'll use, for example, these four cards and draw a card doesn't help us and Falcon hits for two so we were uh, we were three damage short so didn't help us we could we wouldn't have won the game next round either so still uh, if we would have drawn uh, for example brawn or something else good well not brawn because we don't have yeah uh, photon beams were pretty near the bottom of the deck, so that was unlucky. But yeah, that was Ironheart pre-built leadership deck. I think it's a good leadership deck. We were just a bit unlucky in this game, in a couple of situations, but still uh, completely playable straight out of the box. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.